can we just uh, I'm just yeah, gonna mute you baby only because it's funny when I hear you laugh but <laughs> okay sorry I started and not press record so we're just doing some squats so again hips towards the wall keep that core even in a squat keep your navel to spine connected and for ten nine eight seven so at least I've got my washing out today five four three I'm laughing at your picture you did realize that with the queen didn't you Serena on Sandra's photograph and two and one well done and then come into our oh sorry Elizabeth I forgot to add you back to the WhatsApp group. I'll add you, darling. I did get your message last week and thought I must add her and forgot. So I will. Because when someone sends you a number, you have to add them to your messages first before they'll upload on WhatsApp. And eight, seven, five, four, Six. I'm rocking Jana John today. She sent me a lovely message. Hopefully she's just had quite a lot of stuff going on, bless her. So hopefully she'll be joining very soon. Three, two, and one. Well done. And then just circle. Oh, I don't think Janet will have time to watch this today. But if you do, Janet, thinking of you tomorrow. Then. And two more. Oh, that feels good. And the other way. I'm teaching people how to do push-ups this morning so the shoulders are a bit tight. Three, oh, four. I don't know if people get through life without circling their arms. Two and one. Well done. And then just take it, Serena. I've got your old mat, babies. <laughs> take it up. I bought some new ones yesterday, but and down and two. Try and just always do your shoulder work, guys. Even if you can't get full range, just keep that shoulder movement. And five, four, three, two, and last one. And one. Well done. And then let's do these ones. We won't do our car threads. We'll just take it out. Keep the length through the crown of the head. Really retract. Take your arms out and down. And again, front raise. Retract. Out and down. Four more.
contract. Four, three, two, and one. Well done. Good, good, good. Okay, and then just this mass annoying me. It's just in the wrong position. And then just interlink your fingers. So when you interlink your fingers, try not to do that with the back. Yeah, so everything's really nice and level. The ribs are down. And all we're going to do, just move in and out. So you're not moving the rib cage. Just really pull the elbows backwards, feeling the stretch. You'll have been given these um, immediately kind of post up. There we go. And two. And one. Say so we like them ones. Five. Today, something came up on my Facebook after all the economic crisis that we're in, and apparently websites were crashing as people were trying to find Carrie's dress that she was wearing. Kind of says a lot for our nation, doesn't it? Okay, come forward. What's my stuff? And just take the uh, weight into the side of the body. Take it out. Gently in. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Switch sides, and again. Just 
where the heels are together and just really feel like you're like drawing up so through the pelvic floor take the weights together glue your elbows into the waist take it out and then back in again keep the ribs down don't let the lift lifts lifts don't let the ribs come with you Sunday, Sandra, I was paddle boarding on the Leeds Canal for two hours. Four, three, managing to avoid the uh, taxi bus. Two, and one. Well done. Good work. Let's just do um, la 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 la. Uh, front raise. So just lift. Feel free to come up onto the balls of the feet if you want. Like that. Like that. Good. Eight marker. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, beautiful. little neck issues as well in class so and you know i always like neck work i should do it every time i don't always so just imagine you've got a pen on your nose just let everything you know just be nice and sort of relaxed you can sit down if you want for this one and then just circle just make some little circles the circle can be small like mine or you can start taking it a little bit bigger just be careful obviously the bigger you go the more discomfort there will be. Oh, I can always tell when I've been teaching push up. And then the other way, so again, start small. You might just want to go small. You can go a little bit bigger. So we're mobilising the neck joints first. Remember we have different joints guys, some are just hinge joints, can just flex and extend, others are much more, do many more actions, and the neck can do quite a lot, and then just keep the shoulders down, and then just side to side, side to side, side. Lorraine, I feel you pain, darling. It's one I've, I've had injured my neck a few times and it is the most horrible discomfort. So remember to mobilise first. So lateral now, just do front. So chin to chest and gently up. Just gently, you don't have to go all the way to ceiling on that one. When you go forward, try and almost retract as well. So kind of in and down. Good, back to centre. Again, keep them shoulder blades down, length through the crown of the head, a little rotation. I have to really concentrate on this one or I end up flexing as I turn. You've got hearing issues. Again, the neck's very connected with the balance system. And then a little protraction, retraction, protraction, retraction. Oh.
I'm, I must look really strange when you are watching doing this. Uh, well done. And then once you've done that, you can do a nice little stretch. So don't yank your neck, but try and create a big gap between ear and shoulder. And just take some little circles. Please feel free to remind me every week, guys, to do necks. I sometimes forget, and it's so important. And then just gently bring the hand behind the back, retracting it. Put the gaze towards the floor. And gently back to centre. To the other side. So again, just going on a circle first. And then retract, pull the scapulas together, take a little look towards the floor. And ideally you can do a little bit of self-massage, you know, the muscles that the muscles come either sort of side of where the actual vertebra is, yeah. So remember that the neck is all part of the spine, so you're just kind of pulling away. If I were massaging someone now, I'd be pulling. And I can tell the right side, just feel the right side of your neck, either side of your vertebra, and then the left. Is there a big difference? And often there is. So don't be frightened of just doing a little bit of kind of self-massage as well. And then just because you've been stood a while, you saw a little bit of a circle before we do some nice, Balance it, hand the other way, two, three, and four. Well done. So grab hold of something if you're a bit out of touch with balance. You've not been doing much through summer. And um, grab hold of something. Sometimes it's nice just to have hold of something to go into tree pose. Um, Again, tree pose can start with a big toe on the floor. It can start with the uh, foot in towards the inner kind of calf area, or you can bring it all the way up into the inner thigh if you have that range of motion. Yep. Let's take it up for four. Big inhale. Exhale, center. Towards the heart. One more. Keep the palms pushed in, gently up. Out breath. In breath. Out breath. In breath. Last one, because I've got an itchy nose. Don't know why I always have an itchy nose. I don't know why it is. Okay, take that foot in front of the leg that you've been stood on. You don't want to pick your nose on screen, do you? And then take the hips back, chin to chest. Just go easy. If you don't want to roll down, uh, Lorraine, you can just take it into a calf stretch home. Just see how it feels, don't force that flexion. And then just gently, yeah, you don't want to go into pain, always listen to the body. Mild discomfort is the most we ever want to get out of the stretch. Just take some beautiful breaths in. And out. In. And gently up. Really try and move sequentially, bone by bone. Sometimes I rush this. Mm, beautiful. So the leg that you were stood on is the one that's at the back. So we're going to now go on the front leg. Okay. So again, you can start with big toe on the mat with the balance if you're new to balance. Or that's the second one. 
or you can bring it all the way up. So just go to your own range, draw the belly in, push the big toe into the mat, take it up for four, big inhale, into prayer, out breath as we bring it down towards the heart, and again. And again. Yeah, Janet and I both got funerals tomorrow. You know, you just pray. I always think if the sun's shining, it just makes the day just seem a little bit less up and down. And then just take a breath in as we go up. Out breath. And again. Two more. Last one. Oh, I think Jax is having problems with Wi Fi. Um, so, whenever you stood on one leg, you definitely want to work out into a stretch. So, you definitely either want to do a calf stretch, yeah, which feels absolutely gorgeous especially after hit this morning or the it band stretch where the leg you've been stood on goes to the back you chin to chest yeah take the hips backwards again the weight forwards soften the front knee and just gently down you do not have to get to the floor yeah don't force don't force it guys Take a lovely breath in at the bottom. Out breath. In breath. Out breath. Last one breath in. And gently up. So yeah, if you're new to kind of like cardio guys and you've got back issues, don't jump things, you know. You can always do things like this, but jumping, I've done here this morning, I've done loads of jumping. I don't suffer from my back and I can fail a little bit today. So just don't go too quick. Right, I thought, it feels like it's gone really quick, but I feel like we've covered quite a lot this morning. So I just want you to just do one more side and rotation and then we'll go in. So again, take one arm up. You can glue legs together or you can stand in that position, whichever one feels best. Push the hips out and just, again, take a lovely breath in. Gently to centre and then the other way or just keep the legs together. If your balance is a little bit off, it can be a bit not uncomfortable, it can be a bit difficult when one leg's over. And again, breath in. Last one, and gently up, and then just again, either legs together, or if you want to challenge yourself into that one foot in front, shoulders down, take the palms together, draw the belly in, and just gently round. Again, don't force that rotation, or particularly on, just be careful. When you rotate, if you've got back issues, back to centre. And then just come in and just take your arms out. Pull the scapula together, keep the ribs down. Just hold, hold, just to feel that stretch through the front of the pectoral chest muscles. And then gently down. Well done, let's go to that other side. This time let's keep our arms out. Shoulder blades down again, draw the tummy in. Gentle rotation. The spine is supposed to be able to rotate, flex, extend. 
latch up, but obviously you just want to be a bit careful. And the other way. And back to centre. Beautiful. Okay, half guys, let's get down. Let's go straight into four point knee and just into cat to cow. So again, just be careful again. Sometimes taking the back into cat feels absolutely gorgeous. For some people it doesn't. Sometimes that back today for me is a little bit uncomfortable. So I've done quite a bit of jumping impact work. So just take it nice and easy. Sometimes it's nice just to kind of do the bum a little bit. Just to get everything just relaxed through the lumbar spine before you go into full cat. So take a breath in. It's a little bit like when we do bridge and then come round into flexion. Sometimes you just want to go into imprint and lift your bum. You don't want to always come up into the scapula in bridge. So just always listen to the body. Everyone's practice is different. And again, inhale. Out breath. Sometimes this is just enough for people. A little bit of four point kneeling to strengthen the wrist. And obviously the beautifulness of mobilising the spine. Last one. And then back to centre. And then either big um, toes together, knees out wide into shell stretch or you can keep the knees together chest towards the floor and just rest for a good minute thinking about the ribs yeah so letting the ribs come up and out of it on an inhale out breath release get the uh, bum, Serena's amazing at this, she gets lower than me, some people can't get the bum anywhere near their hips and it doesn't matter, you might be here as long as you're just feeling a bit of a stretch, you might want to do if the knees allow and that can be an issue with child's pose for some people, the knees are not great. We started off kneeling on the paddle boards on Sunday and it was quite amusing listening to some of these young girls, they're about 25. And they were sat like this on the paddle ball and thought, oh, my knees are killing me. I thought you'd no chance, guys, in another 25 years. <laughs> oh, you can sit. Some people prefer to sit into a child's pose like this. If I'm honest, that gets me a little bit more. I feel like it's stretching out a bit. This, again, is a lovely position for if you've got a wonderful other half. A really nice position, obviously with cream on, to kind of pull the muscles away from the spine. Yeah. I occasionally massage people in this position if I know them well. It's a little bit personal to ask someone to sit with the bum sticking in the air, isn't it? Okay, well done. Come on to your back. Let's do, let's just go nice and easy today. Yeah. Lorraine's walked an awful lot, so we don't want to really exacerbate any of the um, hamstrings. So just bring your legs together, inner thighs together. Try. So you can do supine spine stretch and think about the core at the same time. So give yourself your pelvic imprint release and find that neutral spine. Ribs are down and you've got that little gap underneath the lumbar spine. And just gently inhale as you take the knees to the right, the head to the left. Do it with conviction, guys. And then inhale, let the belly rise up to the ceiling. Out breath, draw the belly back in so your tummy is nice and flat. And bring the abdominals back to, bring the abdominals, sorry, the knees back to centre with the abdominals. Take the knees in the other direction. Inhale, let the belly rise so you're stretching the back. Don't be frightened of practicing belly breath. Out breath, draw the belly in. Back to centre. And again, take your own. Do you remember we first taught 
this um, day, I always remember saying, how do we do that belly breath? So think about, if you go for like little fat hit, they'll, do you, they'll, they'll get you to pump up and down quite a bit. So really just stretch the back by letting the belly rise, really make it big. Out breath, draw the belly in, which is where we have it if we do abdominal work. Back to centre and the other direction. Again, inhale, let the belly rise. Out breath, draw the tummy in, back to centre. Well done. Let's keep in that neutral spine. Okay, length through the front of the chest. Let's kick off of our roller today, guys. Just, we'll just, yeah, we we'll just will. So just bring the right leg up to tabletop, draw the tummy in again, our pelvic floor in and up. Bring the other leg up so you are in neutral spine, the ribs are down, a little gap underneath the lumbar spine. Take one leg out, slowly in. Close your eyes. Take the other leg out. Slowly in. And again. Slowly in. And again. Slowly in. And back. tummy was nice and engaged you will feel those take the soles of the feet together walk the scapula down just let the knees hang wide practice your big big deep breaths in Center position. Okie doke. So just let's go. Pelvic imprint, lift the bum before we go into bridge. If that feels nice on the back and you don't want to come into full bridge today, don't. So walk the shoulder blades down, walk the heels back a little bit. Your knees are hip distance apart. Take a breath in through the nose. Gently roll, gently, don't force it, roll the lower back into the mat and just lift your bum and then low back down into that dip position and then again bring the lower back into the mat at the same time think about sending the navel to spine and then lower and then lower. Sometimes I just like to do a pelvic imprint, lift my bum. Feels very nice if you've got a soft ball, this guys. Yeah, so for instance, ball underneath the lumbar spine. So not doing abdominal work on it, just a little roll and a lift. Roll and a lift. Yeah, if that feels enough today, just listen to your body. If you want to come up into bridge, you can do it either on the roller, not the roller, sorry, either on the ball, or obviously off, and gently down. Yeah, or
I like pelvic imprint release on the bar, I'm not so keen on bridge on the bar. Gently up. We're just rolling up and down today. Gently down, bone by bone. And again. If you want to challenge yourself, remember we bridge, we're only coming on the shoulder blades. If you want to challenge yourself, guys, you can try and do bridge. And once you get into bridge, stay in bridge if you want and just see if you can lift one leg without letting the other hip drop. If that feels too much, just heel, raise, heel, raise, yeah, or lift. Yeah, I'm tired to do it through the legs and just heel, raise it. Because sometimes even if you can do an advanced one, some days your body doesn't want it. Take a breath in at the top. Slow down. Cross your ankles, bring the knees into chest. And just because we did a single leg stretch, take the feet really wide of the mat. Internally rotate that right hip. The knee follows. Obviously the foot comes in. Does the knee touch the floor? Yeah, opening up all around the hip area. If it doesn't, how far away is it? Maybe get a little bit tight through the hip flexors, a little bit tight through the glutes, and the other way. So we're gonna take it over. Do one more each side. Sometimes if you do a few, the knee goes that much lower. Mm. And we're going to come over and do some side leg before we do some glute work. Oh, <laughs> we are doing glute work before we do a nice stretch for the glutes. Okay, so again, I'm always a bit tired on a Wednesday after hit, so I always take the nice, easier option where the knees bent, the hips nice, and no, not the hip, the waist is nice and lifted. I've got blue on orange, so you should be able to see the gap today. You can obviously do double legs, just be careful if you're a little bit bony in the hip, you can feel a bit uncomfortable, so use a towel or something underneath the hip. But I'm taking this one. You will get more out of the um, exercise if you really think about your setup. So think about lengthening that top leg as long as you can and lengthening the bottom hand. Make sure if the back's a little bit tender, yeah, you want to work the glutes, but you don't want the leg too far back that the back starts to arch. So make sure that the back is not arching. Draw the pelvic floor in and up about 30% and just gently lift and lower. I've got a nice pointed foot. Two. And I'm going to flex it for 10 after these bends. Three. Tight. Yeah, just so you're not hatching. 
Feel the stretch through the quad muscles. And then I just want you to take that leg long again. And all I want you to do is flex and point the foot. Just the foot. Point, flex, point, flex. And then circle it. Keep that ankle nice and slim. Try and get just the limbs moving around. Pull that in. And then back. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. If you can't ever reach the foot, guys, just let the leg come backwards and again it'll just stretch it out a bit. And then just come over onto your back if you've got a ball. It's always nice to have the ball underneath the head. It gives you a little bit of leverage. And then just again take that foot onto the opposite knee. Just either leave it there or I know sometimes this cramps your hip a little bit. Serena, so you can always go into piriformis, guys, if you remember it. The piriformis stretch. I'll do it after this, just to remind you again. Another nice one to do on this position is take that foot really wide now, and then this leg that's on the floor, take the knee inwards. And hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Take the ball away. Hands underneath your head and just take a little bit of a stretch towards the top knee. Just again, opening up this side of the body. Take a breath in. And again. Last one. And back together. I appreciate sometimes some stretches are difficult, guys. So always just keeping the one that you can do if it's a little bit too much. And then the leg that we had crossed over, I just want you to take that up again. And again, just find where you've got about a three to four on a discomfort scale through the back of the legs. And just flex the foot, point the toes on, in and away from away. Point them in and away. In and away, in and away, and turn the foot in and out, in, out, in, out. Good, well done, beautiful. And then just gently over onto your side to come onto that other one. God, it's gone quick today. I feel like I've just walked into class. Ah, time goes quickly and gentle. So again. Find your set up, I know I can be a bit quick switching around guys, so sorry about that. So just again, lift up that bottom waist, feel the gap, lengthen, give your back. This is why you need all them um, arm exercises, so that when you've got an itch, you can find it. Uh, this is my dad talking to me when I've got an itchy back here, I always had a back stretch in my back. And then just lift, and lower, lift. Yeah, I can picture my dad's back stretches. He used to have all kinds of different ones. Little wooden ones. He used to have a white plastic one with a little funny face on the end. And again, just lift and lower. And again. Two. And one. Flex. Drop. And lift. And lift. It's my dad's best friend's funeral tomorrow. Uh, really, honestly, the loveliest man ever. Plays, um, used to play piano and sing, and yeah, it's going to be a sad. And three, two, and one, and then circle. And it's Janet's mother in law's tomorrow, so I'm thinking of Janet and David. And four, and five, and then the other side, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, just hold, and then just bring it in. So again, if it's too much, you can just let the leg, sort of the foot drop, and then you can see it still opens a little bit through the hip, if you can't reach. Always reminds me of lovely David this Sandra with his uh, little band that he used to pull. 
Yeah, well, you've got a pair of socks on, sometimes you can grab the end of the toes as well. It's cold. And then just lengthen it and just point and flex. Point, flex, point, flex. It might be cracked like mine did. And then circle, 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 circle back. It's funny, I had a class in last night and you forget when you've got people in the studio all the little clicks that you can't hear when you're on Zoom. So people's like, is that your, is that your hand? Thought, no, that one my knee, no, that one my back. <laughs> and then gently onto your back and again, take your ball, la, 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 la. there it is. And just take that foot on, oh, oh I know how you feel now, Serena, I can feel my hip flexors today. And then up, push away. And we'll do, to finish guys, we'll do a piriformis stretch because I know a lot of people get a lot of um, release from that. So just take that foot down, take the ball away. And just over. So can you see, one leg's kind of going like that. And whichever side you, the foot that's on the floor, you lean away from that one into the other side. So you're just opening up this side of the body a little bit. Take a breath in. And then back to center. And then just take the leg that was on top, again, just flex it, pull the toes in, wave them away, pull the toes in, wave them away, pull the toes in, wave them away, and then in, out, in, out, in, out, shift your arm about, and then gently down, and last but not least, we'll go into piriformis and then into the SI stretch. So take the leg, whatever leg, one leg in tabletop, whatever leg is in tabletop, the same hand, and just push that inner knee towards the opposite shoulder and lift up and grab. Actually, I'm getting a bit more relief by just grabbing the outside. Uh, the opposite hand on the outside and just keep pushing. I'm not bringing that heel into the top of my thigh. I'm feeling that I'm getting more of a stretch there than when I do that. Sometimes when you bring the heel in, the leg comes out. But just feel, whoa. Gorgeous. And then you can take the hand that was pushing on the outside knee out to the side. The other one creeps up a bit onto the outside thigh. And you can just bring it over into a little bit more, kind of through the sacroiliac joint area. Beautiful. Back to centre, the other side. So tabletop, use the same hand, push it across the midline, lift it opposite hand and just kind of pull, you're kind of pushing, pushing with this hand, pulling a little bit. Oh. And then take that hand to the outside and that hand comes back up the side of the leg, the opposite one, take a beautiful breath in, and wonderful, and then just legs together, just in and out, shift it all about, and just get up guys in your own time, however that is, whether you want to go into cat to cow, you want to go into your downward dog, or you just want to gently come up into standing. Hope you enjoyed it. And oh, I like to just use your 
could do a couple of cat cows and I always like to go into downward dog. Because she, there my cat was going crazy. <laughs> 